Hi, welcome to Lunar Logic Tarot. I'm Juju, and this is going to be a timeless general um, love, life, money, whatever reading, whatever comes out for Scorpio. You could have Scorpio in your sun, moon, rising, or Venus place, placements. Um, Scorpio, happy birthday. I hope you're doing well. Um, <clears throat> uh, keep in mind, Scorpio, these readings are general, so take what resonates, leave the rest. If it's not your story, do not try to make it fit. Um, everything is subject to free will and the will of the divine. No one is free from law of cause and effect. And the roles can be reversed. What that means is this could be something that you're doing um, going on around you. This could be something your person is doing, whoever that is, going on around them. This could be family member, co-worker, friend, neighbor. This could be your in your immediate environment, your town, your city, um, your overall community. It can be something from the past coming back around, something currently going on. And so I've been told... My readings can tend to be future predictive, so definitely keep that in mind. Something could be coming towards you as well. If you need or want to get a personal reading with me that is tailored specifically to your energy and or situation, my email is in the description box below. I do offer $10 off for first-time clients who get their first reading with me, so definitely check that out, okay? Um, if there's going to be an extended um, to this reading, that will be in the description box and the comment section below, along with your next three months future prediction, okay? Whew, with all that being said... I hope you're doing well. Happy birthday. Hope you're enjoying your season. Season, seizing, seasoning. I mean, I, I, maybe you're maybe you're seasoning something. I don't know. I hope you're enjoy you're enjoying your season. All right, let's see. What's going on for Scorpio? What does Scorpio need to know, please, in love and life? What what okay. Hangman in the reverse, Pisces energy. Oh, okay. What else is going on first? Tell me more. The Tower, Scorpio, Aries. And the Temperance Reverse, Sagittarius Energy. Okay, all majors. Boom, boom, boom. Um. Also, too, if you're not feeling well, I'm not a doctor, obviously. Let me bring this up a little bit. If you're not feeling well, Please go to the doctor because this can talk about hospital stays as well. Um, five of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Drama. Competition. Arguments. Um, I feel like I did this. I feel like I did a... Maybe it wasn't you. Maybe it was a different sign. But I feel like it was you. But I'm not sure. But some of you may know. Let me know in the comment section below if it was your sign, but it feels like you're you're being you're being uh, poked at, like irritated, agitated, right? With the hangman here in the reverse, it's like you or somebody else is just not getting the lesson, just not not getting the lesson, not seeing it from a different perspective, just not getting it. Also, this can talk about someone being very selfish and a traitor and just not willing to see things from a different perspective you could be dealing with somebody like that and because they're like that they've called in a tower for themselves you could be that tower scorpio you guys eat towers for breakfast literally but i would just be careful with that because if you're not the tower something else is for this person or for you um, something is just not balanced. Something is too chaotic. Something or someone is just too fucking chaotic for you. Like, I kind of feel like you want people just to leave you the fuck alone. You're kind of going into that scorpionic kind of, kind of, it's almost like a hermit mode, almost like a Virgo type energy. Like, kind of like, you know, just leave me be. You know what I mean? It's like you woke up one morning and it's like, I'm going to choose violence today. Uh, not, not seriously. I hope that's not the case. Don't ever choose violence. We don't promote violence over here. Um, but I mean, you know, metaphorically speaking, it's like something is just got you irritated. We do have, let's see, we got Uranus retrograding. We got Neptune retrograding. We've had the solar eclipse in Scorpio. We've got, Now we've had the lunar eclipse in Taurus. We also have Mars retrograding in Gemini. So you could be getting tested a lot right now. 
It's like your patience is being tested. Like you ain't got no patience. Like none. And there's just, it's, you just don't want to deal with it. The drama. You just literally just don't want to deal with it. But the tower isn't necessarily bad, right? The tower can be a revelation, right? It can be, you know, good news even. But with the hangman reverse and the temperance reverse, I don't necessarily feel like it's that way. Or you, I don't know, something's very shocking though. What is this hangman reverse about? What is this hangman reverse about here? Okay, we've got two of wands reverse. Somebody here has made a decision that was quite selfish and self-serving. Whomever you're dealing with in any capacity, this person chose selfishness. Somebody chose to be a traitor. Somebody chose to betray you or disrespect you is what I heard. That's a bad, bad move. Very bad move. And it's like, it almost feels like these two cards kind of go together. It's like, okay, you decide to disrespect me. You decided to be a traitor or betray me. Whatever the case may be. Okay, now I'm going to choose chaos. <laughs> you, know, you know what I'm saying? I'm not saying that's the right course of action. Show me the tower. Like, other water signs, like... Pisces or Cancers think they're as strong as Scorpio. No offense to no offense to Cancers, no offense to Pisces, but I'm talking to Scorpios right now. So if you're not a Scorpio and you don't have Scorpio placements, go somewhere else. Or go watch your sign. But other water signs, okay, think like I posted a meme about like, you know, people saying like it showed like a giant tidal wave and it said Scorpio and then, you know, um, people on, on the beach, right, were saying Scorpios are too intense to be a water sign. They're more like fire. Meanwhile, Scorpio's a giant, like, <laughs> how many skyscrapers tall tidal wave, right? Like, and I don't, I forget, someone may have commented, oh no, Cancers or Pisces or somebody is the tidal wave. No, that's not really the case. That's not the case. I'm sorry. Scorpios actually are. No, don't get me wrong. Cancer's got a temper on them. Okay? Pisces do as well. But Pisces will, will more than likely... Um, how do I say this? They'll emotionally attack you. <laughs> a Pisces will in some form or fashion. Whereas a cancer will manipulate you. You know what I mean? Now, Scorpios, we tend to be a little bit more intense than that. We are the fiery water sign. We protect the other two water signs for that reason. So, this is, and if you see here, there's like waves here crashing. I don't know. It feels like someone's pissed you off. And now you're bringing... You're bringing okay it's like someone's pushed you to the max and some like you're also very psychic right you know a lot that you're not speaking on right but it's like someone's done pushed you to the limit or they're about to see there's that hermit mode you just rather not speak about it and be left the fuck alone you've made a final decision to what? Let this shit go, but yet people want to try you. So they're making the they made the they made their choice. Now you have to make a choice. You can choose to ignore this. Probably would be preferable. But you are ruled. Not only are you ruled by the by the frozen heart of Pluto, which is a frozen red planet, 
And it literally, if you look at Pluto, has a frozen lake that's the shape of a heart. You're fire and ice. You are the, you are the sign of the extremes. You're also judgment. You're also death. You're also transformation. You're also the tower. You do have a choice to make on how you want to proceed with this. Some of you will choose chaos because you've had enough. You just had enough. Others of you will choose to just, I don't know. Let me just see. Cause you're just, I feel like you've just had enough. Show me the tower. Two of Swords reverse. Mm -hmm. Whatever you feel like may maybe have been blocking you in any capacity, particularly relationship-wise, if somebody has, there's two of Wands reverse and two of Swords reverse. Somebody here, one person's made a decision. It's like law of cause and effect here. Okay, this person made this decision, so now I must make this one. You see what I'm saying? Like, it's like someone has chosen to make a decision to either betray you, to be selfish, to be self-centered, to be self-serving, whatever the case may be. And you're like, okay, now I must make this decision. You know what I mean? You always have a choice. You always have a choice, Scorpio. Even if it doesn't look like you have a lot of options, you always have at least two choices, two paths you could take, right? And it looks like you've chosen one. What's this temperance reverse about? Three of pentacles reverse. You're not collaborating with anybody. You're not willing to work with anyone. You're not willing to lend support. You're not willing, you are literally wanting to be left alone. That's what it seems like here. Now, if you're single, Scorpio, and you're look, you want love in your life, okay, that is not how you go about getting it. Okay, if you're single, if you're a single Scorpio, and you want love in your life, you want to meet someone, I totally get it. Right? We people really people think that we can be obsessive. Maybe that's so at times, but what people don't really understand is that people get obsessed with us. Nine times out of 10 is that people get obsessed with us rather than we get obsessed with other people because we would much rather just kind of be left alone. But I'm talking, I feel like I'm for, for this message here, I'm talking to single Scorpios who want a relationship, but you're not willing to collaborate. You're not willing to put yourself out there. So how, how are you going to meet anybody? How are you going to meet anybody staying at home? Right? I don't, I don't think, I don't think you're going to do that. I don't, I don't think it's going to work like that, Scorpio. Okay. And for others of you who are maybe in a relationship, maybe you're recently out of a relationship, maybe you're separated from a relationship in any capacity, you are not working on trying to heal this shit whatsoever. You're like, I'm done. I'm just done, done. And here's the thing. Uh, if cross watchers are still here, if a Scorpio, okay, a Scorpio will be very, very loyal to you. Like ride or die. May, rather, rather it be right or wrong, right? But when you push a Scorpio to that point, when they're done, they can slam that door, lock it, deadbolt it, put another door in, behind it and never ever speak to you again if they don't have to and I feel like I'm talking to some Scorpios that have like you know what you chose to do this you tried me for the last time now this is the choice that I'm about to make no I don't want to heal things with you I'm never going to speak to you again you are like straight up silence this person or whatever this is that's what it is. I mean I'm not talking shit I get it there are just some people in this world that do the most you get it's like it's like you give that you gave this person or this situation a benefit of a doubt 
maybe a couple of times only to find out or only to realize that, eh, no, I should have done that. And so now you're like, I'm silent. I have nothing to say to you. I want nothing to do with you. You no longer exist to me. That's what it feels like. And others of you who are single, you want to be in a relationship with someone. You want to meet someone, but you are just not willing to open up. That's not, you know, going to work out for you if you really want to be in a relationship. You know what I'm saying? But whatever this is, it's a very, very big deal. It's like somebody here makes a decision that's based solely on selfishness and being a traitor. And there is nothing in being a, a hella disrespectful. There's nothing more that you can do to really, like, seal the deal for a Scorpio that they will never speak to you again or have anything to do with you is to lie to them, betray them, act in only your self-interest and that hurts a Scorpio or be a traitor. That right there, mm -mm. it's like kryptonite to a Scorpio. But it's like the type of kryptonite that will get you on like a shit list with a Scorpio for, you know, you beef him for life. They, but they will never speak to you. They won't, you know, maybe some Scorpios do seek revenge. Others don't because they're, they're, you know, going to their, you know, Eagle phase or Phoenix phase. Some Scorpios will seek revenge. Some Scorpios won't because they're trying to, you know, they're maturing. And I'm not judging you, Scorpio. I'm not, I feel like I'm talking to Scorpios that are kind of like between Eagle and Phoenix phase. If you don't know what that is, you can look it up online. The different phases of a Scorpio's transformation of throughout their life. I feel like I'm talking to a Scorpio. It's like, okay, that's what you choose. Final answer. Okay. Here's my choice. No. Never again. Mm -mm. That's what it feels like. Anything else? And it almost feels like, it almost feels like this person or whomever you're dealing with is kind of like shell-shocked a little bit. Like, really? You're never going to speak to me again? Like, ever? No. If a Scorpio doesn't speak to you, they don't speak to you for a reason. You probably know what you did, Crosswatcher. And they're not going to sit there and explain it to you. When a Scorpio is finally finished, they've given you the benefit, a few benefit, benefits of a doubt. How they might have even forgiven you. For, I know, I know that word's a little bit of a dirty word for Scorpio, but they might have even forgiven you. But you, again, they'll never speak to you again. Unless they absolutely have to. And if they have to, it's going to be the like bare just bare minimum yeah you know i like to tell everyone likes to think that a scorpio will cut you off like that that's not 100 percent true is it scorpio because we ultimately scorpios typically want it to work out we we get you know scorpios we get such a bad fucking rep but when we do cut it off when we are pushed to that have to make that type of decision, it's usually cut off for life forever. And it's like absolute cold, like coldness, not like ruthlessness, like attacking someone. No, it's just like, you don't, I no longer, you no longer exist in the universe to me. Meanwhile, a Scorpio can be crying themselves to sleep every night or however long it takes for them to heal. But you would never know that if they are or aren't. But they'll cut you off and they'll never speak to you again. If, if you push them to that limit. You know, some Scorpios will do it like that at the whim of a hat. But a lot of Scorpios won't. They'll give you a, a benefit of a doubt. They'll try to maybe even try to work it out with you. Because when we love, when Scorpios love, we love fully. We love devoted. We are very devoted people. We are very diligent, very big hearted. We will, we will ride for that person. We will go to war for that person. 
gladly. We will, we will fight alongside of them. We will fight in front of them. We'll fight behind them. We will, we will go to the max for that person. But just as much as we will do and go hard for and love hard for, us being able to eventually be able to cut something or someone off is just as hard. And just as like complete absolution done. Unless there's a reason that Scorpio has to speak to you. Sorry, I'm not trying to give away all the secrets, Scorpio. But I feel like people really misunderstand you guys. Like, I'm a Scorpio. I have like a four planet placement Scorpio stellium. I feel a lot of times deeply misunderstood. Not by everybody, but sometimes. You know? And we are like literally the number, literally number one most hated zodiac sign of all the zodiacs. It's because they don't understand this. That's why. That's what I feel. Maybe some of them even want to be a Scorpio. But I feel like most of it has a lot to do with they don't understand us. And sometimes, let's be honest, Scorpio, we don't always understand ourselves either. Majority of the time, though, we are very analytical people. Scorpio, we do quite understand our, what we're doing and why we're doing it. And we typically don't seek out to hurt people intentionally by any stretch of the means. Especially those we deem worthy to be in our innermost sanctum. So, like, example, Crosswatcher and Scorpio. If a Scorpio deems you worthy to be in their inner, like, innermost sanctum, okay, which is very precious, very, very precious to a Scorpio. It's precious to everybody, but it's really precious to a Scorpio. It's like a very big deal because we, we typically don't trust people because we understand. Um, Pluto is the house of psychology. We understand a deep, we don't, well, maybe not every single person, but we can, it's, it's also the house of the taboo, the dark, the mysterious, the macabre. You know, all those hidden things, right? So we can kind of sniff, smell out and sniff out and see and feel other people's intentions or motivations. But if we deem you worthy and we let you into our innermost sanctum, please know that a Scorpio is literally giving you their heart and the keys to the kingdom on a silver freaking platter. And if you were to betray that more than once or more than once and they still gave you a benefit of a doubt and you did it anyways again, Yo, when that Scorpio kicks you out of the inner sanctum, it's a it's forever. When a Scorpio finally, if that if it goes that far and a Scorpio finally kicks you out of the inner sanctum, please know that you are locked out for life. For life, it's a life thing. Not because they're hateful, not because they can't forgive. We can forgive. Scorpios can forgive. We typically never forget though. We'll forgive to ourselves so we can let you go. We'll never tell you, but we will never speak to you again or have anything to do with you because we have completely deemed you, one, completely untrustworthy for, for whatever reason, and two, you're not worthy to be in the innermost sanctum or in our lair. You're not allowed. And that's just the way it is. So, for everybody hating on a fucking Scorpio because you got cut off by a Scorpio, Ask yourself, what did you do to, for a Scorpio to cut you off? Because typically a Scorpio isn't going to cut you off like that. Not at the not at the very drop of a hat for no reason. There's a reason. And I'm sick and tired of people talking shit about Scorpios. And the second most hated sign is a Gemini. Now, you know, Scorpios have their bad, bad traits and good traits and the Geminis do too. But so does every other Zodiac. Yeah, five of swords in reverse. You're not playing nobody's mind fuckery games. You're just like, no, not today. Not today, not tomorrow, not 10, 20 years from now. Just no, I'm not going to fight with you. I'm not going to fight for you. I'm not going to do all this. You're not going to play mind games with me. No. And I feel like that's kind of a shock. Yeah, with the four of cups reverse. You're like, okay, I see you. I see you. I'm not going to deal with you. 
Yeah, someone here wants to come in and, and apologize to you for your reject. Queen of Cups, that is not you. You are the King of Cups. Male or female, doesn't matter. This is a Cancer or Pisces. Somebody here wants to wants to come and apologize, possibly, but you're rejecting it. You really don't want nothing, and I mean nothing to do with this, whomever the fuck this is. You see them as a wasted potential. Yeah, you're moving forward. You're not going to invest with this person. Ten of Pentacles reverse. You're leaving them out in the cold where they belong. You're sending them out to the frozen wasteland. I mean, and if you're single, Scorpio, let me just tell you, <laughs> closed mouths don't get fed, Scorpio, okay? They just don't. And... You can, you're very charming, very alluring, very mysterious person. Male or female doesn't matter. Here's the thing, though. If you're, if you're not putting yourself out there, you're not going to meet nobody. Okay? You're just not going to meet nobody. So if you want to meet someone, kind of got to, like, come out of your lair a little bit. I mean, if that's something you want to do, you know? All right. So I am going to take this into extended and see if there's anything else that comes out for you guys. But let's see who you're dealing with. It's like you're banishing this person. Like, I don't mean like actual banishment, but like, you're like, no. Just no. Like, you don't even want to hear anything they have to say. Okay. They could be very sorry. Maybe. I mean, it's up to you. Only you know your true situation. And Scorpios typically don't give, like, well, we will give, let's be real here, Scorpio. We will give another chance. Right? But if a person has burned up through their chances, we don't. And if they're not, like, integral to, to our lives or they're not, like, you know, like a partner, mate, or family member, no. No. Who are you dealing with? Be a Sagittarius. Aquarius. You're very analytical. You take a while to chew on things, you know, to make a decision. But once you made that decision, it's like, here's the thing, Scorpio. You take a long time to make decisions because you will analyze the shit out of it. But once that decision is made, it's made. There's no turning back from it. Taurus. Could be done with a Leo. Pisces, that came up in the tarot. A Cancer, that also came up in the tarot. And Virgo, Capricorn. So, Scorpio, you could be dealing with a Capricorn, Sagittarius, Pisces, Aquarius, Cancer, Taurus, Virgo, Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and your chart or their chart, combination of the two, because we do have a lot of other placements in our chart. Right? Let's see what we got. So this could be first, middle, last initial of your name or their name or it can make words. Let's see. What do you have for Scorpio, please, regarding the situation, Scorpio? Okay. Thank you. Let me sort them out real quick. I just feel like you need to do what you feel like is best for you. If you feel like this person deserves another chance, by all means, do that. Right? But if this person... You feel does not deserve another chance? Don't give it to them. But the choice, you, it, the choice will be yours. And whatever the choice is, is kind of going to be a bit of a shock to whomever this this involves. Okay. And for those who are single, um, if again, if you want to meet anybody, you're you know, you might want to think about putting yourself out there okay just think about it all right you have to put your, your whole self out there but you know what I mean try in a little bit so first letter is N C E L I R O E 
J, <coughs> R, U, R. Okay. Guidance. Let's see. What guidance do you have for Scorpio, please, regarding this reading? Guidance for Scorpio. Um, Roman tough goose. Take heed of those who give warnings. There's somebody around you that you absolutely cannot trust. Okay. You also have the bald eagle. From a strong foundation, you may build anything, but you are standing strong in something. You know that there's other people around you that you can't you can't trust, and you're keeping your guards up, which I feel like is you're standing your ground basically, or you're being guided to do so. Then you have the repleasant quizelle, uncover the deity within. You need to take back your power, and I mean your full power, okay? Now just a little bit, but all of it. You also have the peacock, and it says resist the alluring spell of those who would deceive in business or love. I'm telling you, someone's 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 lying to you. Mm-hmm. Oh, let's see. Oh, and you have the blackbird. Open to psychic awareness to recognize portents of the future. This is happening in the future tense. Be mindful of things that you tell people. There's definitely somebody around you can't trust. I don't know who it is, but I'll look at that a little bit deeper in the extended. The link to that will be in the description box below and in the comment section below. All right, well, um, Scorpio, this has been kind of what you needed to know. Pay attention to your psychic intuition. It's not, pay attention to any psychic awareness or intuitions or visions or anything like that that you get because you're going to know who this is or who these people are, whatever this is, when it happens, that you cannot trust these people or this person. And you're going to kick them out of the sanctum. Okay? All right, well, I love you. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Happy birthday. Till next time.